Is there a chance, even the smallest of chances, that the universe could come to an end? It's hard to think about when you look around and see how far we have come as a society and the endless possibilities in front of us. But everything must come to an end eventually. Even the universe, which begs an interesting question, how will the universe end? Here's our answer. The universe hasn't stopped expanding since the Big Bang. Every day, galaxies push farther and farther away from each other, fueled by dark energy, a repulsive force that takes up 68% of the universe. What we see now is the universe sort of cooling and emptying out, as the galaxies farthest away from us are moving faster than the ones closer, because of the influence of dark energy. But this isn't the only element at work. While dark energy pushes galaxies away from each other by the extension of space, we also have gravity pulling these galaxies towards each other, almost like a tug of war. Without the presence of gravity, scientists are certain that the cosmos could keep expanding forever until it eventually empties out. But now, scientists are picturing a different outcome. Instead of expanding forever, it would reach a point where the existence of matter in the universe would slow the expansion, causing gravity to be the dominant force. With little to no force to push galaxies apart anymore, the universe would stop expanding and instead start to shrink. Stars, planets and even entire galaxies would collide with each other as the universe becomes denser and very, very crowded. And what's worse, all the radiation in the universe would be compressed in one place. At this point, nothing survives. This is called the Big Crunch, and believe me, not a lot of researchers like this possibility. It is like the Big Bang happening all over again, but in reverse. Everything you see, all the stars and galaxies, will move into a single point where it all began, or be sucked into a massive black hole and everything is cooked under high-energy radiation. But this might not be the end. What if there was a way our universe could survive the destruction? Some hypotheses suggest that this might be possible. Moments before it collapses into a dense singularity, the universe gets to start all over again, saved by quantum processes, like a second Big Bang of sorts. Sounds a bit too convenient, doesn't it? Yet, this is most likely the fate of our universe. And it may have happened before. The story of our existence started 14 billion years ago, following the Big Bang. It marked the beginning of everything. Or did it? Maybe the beginning wasn't really the beginning. Maybe something happened that led to the conditions that created the universe as we know it today. If there was something before us, then it is likely that something is coming after leading to the continuous birth of new universes. The contraction into a point of singularity gives the universe enough time to become uniform throughout. Things flatten out as matter and energy become more evenly distributed throughout the universe and become more homogeneous as the universe prepares for what could best be described as a rebirth. As the universe continues to shrink, quantum processes like radioactive decay come into effect, allowing the universe to escape total collapse and start expanding again. But what if gravity doesn't have that effect? Then the story changes completely. Hey spacers, before you resume watching the many ways the universe might end and take us all with it, please take a second to subscribe. Please click the bell button to be notified of new videos and thank you for supporting our channel by liking, commenting and sharing. And now, back to ripping up the universe. No one can say for sure whether or not gravity will have that much effect on the universe. But the one thing we are certain about is the influence of dark energy. The universe is expanding 
and the expansion is accelerating and will keep getting faster over time. Nothing can stop it and decades of observations have only confirmed it. If you watch a patch of sky fast forward over billions of years, you will see stars start to turn red before eventually fading completely. The expansion of the universe would stretch the wavelength of their light farther and farther toward the red end of the spectrum before rendering them completely invisible to the eye. The only thing we will be able to observe is our Milky Way. But even though we cannot see them anymore, the stars and galaxies will still be there. It will take a lot for them to vanish from existence completely, but it will happen eventually. Give or take a few trillion years. After a while, the expansion will dilute the remaining gas and dust floating around in space until there isn't enough left in any region to fuel the birth of new stars. With no more being born, stars will eventually become endangered as they die off one by one until the last of them die off. Soon after, galaxies and planets will be gone too and what's left of them will be locked away in black holes. In fact, black holes will be the last surviving sentinels of the universe we know, but eventually they will die off too. Nothing will remain in this dark era of the universe as the cosmos settles at its final resting temperature just above absolute zero. Light and matter will become distant memories and nothing will happen for the rest of eternity. Yet, this isn't the most dramatic end to our universe. There is still very little we know about dark energy, yet it plays a big part in our universe. If the universe continues its path of expansion, it will eventually reach a point where everything that holds it together will be overcome by this strange force. And when it overwhelms electromagnetic, gravitational and weak nuclear forces, the universe will come apart. Literally, as galaxies and stars move farther apart, their influence on each other through forces like gravity or electromagnetism weakens, allowing dark energy to grow stronger over time. This dark energy affects celestial bodies, causing them to expand, and if nothing is done to stop its influence, then these bodies don't stand a chance. Ancient galaxy clusters will dissolve first, and eventually, the galaxies themselves will follow suit, sending stars drifting on their own. Soon, planets will move away from their stars and moons, no longer bound to their orbits as dark energy builds up within, destroying it from inside out. Any loose atoms remaining would be picked apart particle by particle, and the final victim of dark energy would be the fabric of space-time itself. If this scenario were to happen, then the universe has about 22 billion years left to live. But as unsettling as this sounds, this isn't the worst doomsday scenario that scientists have come up with. False vacuum decay, the worst possible end to our universe. It could already be barreling down upon us as we speak, and we wouldn't know it until it hits. While it is not the most exciting end to think about, the idea behind it is intriguing. Research into false vacuum decay began in response to the discovery of the Higgs boson, one of the most fascinating discoveries of the century. The discovery of the Higgs boson implies the existence of the Higgs field, an energy field that is present throughout space. Its presence in the universe is what separates weak nuclear force from electromagnetic force and what maintains that split today. In the very early stages of the universe, the Higgs field was different from what we have today. Interaction with this field is what gives particles mass, but at the start of the universe, particles that interacted with the field had no mass. This changed when an event called symmetry breaking happened. The Higgs field took on a different value granting particles mass based on its interaction with them. Because of the change in this field, electromagnetic forces and nuclear forces came into existence, and everything settled into the kind of physics that we know today. 
The discovery of the Higgs boson gave us hints into how the Higgs field behaves and how it has evolved over the years. And those hints point towards the possibility of the Higgs field changing again and not for the better. If it changed again, then it would put us in a situation where we cannot exist. There would be different forces and particles at play and the constants of nature would change. A change in the Higgs field will take out a chunk of the universe and what's left will be changed forever. All it takes is for one tiny bit of Higgs field somewhere in space to change. The change would kick off a chain reaction, sending a bubble of vacuum decay, expanding throughout the universe. We wouldn't see it coming until it slams into Earth. So what happens after that? No one's really sure. Best case scenario, any life that survives will live under new laws of nature and physics in an unrecognizable universe. Worst case, everything is destroyed and we don't have to worry about what to do next. This sounds more like science fiction than reality. And there are a lot of questions left unanswered because there is still a lot that we do not know about the Higgs field. The false vacuum decay or any of these scenarios may not occur for billions of years. Or it could be happening already and we are all sitting ducks. Maybe sometime in the future we will find some theoretical basis for dark energy. Or maybe some evidence that could tell us how dark energy works and provide a way for us to really understand what is going on in our universe. We could even learn once and for all how the universe is going to end and possibly find a way out of it. Humans are survivors. We always find a way to beat the odds. But until then, how do you think the universe is going to end? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for spacing out with us. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of new and exciting space content. See you next video.